calculated buyer of stage crime scenes. Many of you are doubting me now. But down the road, you'll remember what I said. And then, you will activate, you will resist, you will defend the species. They're only alive once, but you live forever through the species. You can physically fall, and it doesn't matter. But the species is overtaken and damaged by these people. We all fall. You know in your gut and your DNA I'm right. And I say, arise, humanity! Arise, humanity! Activate the survival mechanism! Resist the enemy! Break your conditioning! Stand up against the globalists! Don't let them control the future and dominate human society! Don't let them control your destiny! Let's go to your phone calls here. Let's go to uh, Dave in New York. You're on the air, Dave. Hey, Alex. Nice hey, to buddy. Talk to you. Nice to talk to you, Dave. Um, I'm afraid, I just want to Dave. say I heard, I heard on uh, a show last week that uh, part of the GPSing through the uh, census people taking is part of the cap and trade and carbon tax. They're, they're going to track you in your car from your, from your, you know, your home port, and they're going to bill you. Your ta or calculate your tax credits from your mileage. So yeah. I guess the, the intention was to get all these GPSs in the car. I wouldn't be mm -hmm. surprised if before I wanted to make it a law to put it even in your old. Oh, no, no, that's why the OnStar and the other companies are all GPS triangulated or GPS trackers, all cell phones by law in the 1996 Telecommunications Act that put in all the snoop pubs by October 1st, 2001, had to be satellite uh, coordinate uh, track. They're not GPS themselves, but the cell towers are, and the actual patents are in. They're going to tax you mile to mile by your cell phone. And I remember when I first got on air 14 years ago, I was sent all these publications by local engineers about the federal plan to tax us by the mile. Then 10 years ago, England and Germany started putting it in. And then now the feds have announced, his transportation secretary said this is the next phase. And then we, when we say we don't want it, they laugh and say it doesn't exist. <laughs> but now it's all over the news. Uh, it's going to cost $165 to travel from Austin to Dallas and back. <laughs> That's the Fed's own numbers. <laughs> There's no level of raping they're not going to give us. And it's all going to go to bankers. And if you don't like it, paramilitary forces are going to gun you down. You try not paying the tracker tax. The cops are going to pull you over. And if you resist, they're going to murder you. And, and see, when I make the point that we're living in tyranny, is that not tyranny, Bubba? And as the economy declines, it's, it's going to get worse and worse because they're going to need the tax revenue even more severely and more severely. It's right. about breaking your back. It's about driving you into submission. Right. And we have to be kept in a perpetual state of anxiety. I mean, they learn that from advertising. Advertising keeps us in a perpetual state of anxiety. Therefore, if you weren't anxious about something you see on a commercial on TV, you wouldn't buy it. So, I mean, they know that technique. They have to keep us in a perpetual state of anxiety and this psyop. Yeah, and they don't need on. the money. They don't need the money. More than half the federal money goes to interest on the debt, and that was last year's number. Now, with 23.7 trill in 10 months, everything's going to go to the debt. It's like a third world country. And they're going to squeeze everything out of you, and then they're going to bankrupt you and then say, we'll give you money and welfare, but you got to get your tubes tied. After you start everything will be TV. overseen by the control freak, degenerate eugenics. Everything. Total bondage, total rulership. Your kids will be in black uniforms. You'll have to kiss your, your college kids' butts when they come home with their arm patches on. It's already happening. I'm already getting reports from parents, their kids in red and black uniforms with city year coming home and bossing them around. All these do-nothings on power trips. This is hell. They've done this before. This is a government of hell. I'm with you, Alex. We love you here in New York, and keep up the good work. We'll keep up our end. God bless you, sir. We love you, too, there, my friend. Good to hear from you, Dave. I was saying, I'm afraid, Dave, from the Hell 9000 2001 Space Odyssey. I'm afraid, Dave. I'm afraid. All right. We'll take you out a little bit of music. 
here in the court of the Crimson King. And then we will uh, come back and go to Brian, George, Steve, and others. I'm Alex Jones. Get fired up, get mad, and beat these Soviets. Or sure enough, they're going to have their way with you in the gulags. It's what they do. Just like you're turning off our society, turning off our energy sources. You get us in your compact cities, get us all dependent on your fiat currency debt system, and you pull the rug out from under us. I mean, the level of stealing, double the GDP in 10 months. Double the GDP in, what, nine and a half months? I want to get exact. I don't know. What's mid-October to late July? October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Yeah, nine and a half months. Nine and a half months, and they've stolen the GDP of the United States two times over. And then I've got clip after 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 clip of the Congress saying, where's the money? And they say, will you tell us? And they go, no. Will you tell us about the trillions of offshore banks? No. Because they are the criminals. It's a big joke to them. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, Brian in Texas. Brian, you're on the air. Alex, uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hey, listen, I've got a complaint. Just let me hear me out before you, before you blast me. I want to come at you from a a media uh, info war type of uh, uh, perspective. Uh, what I see on the ground, and when I say on the ground, I know you're in the trenches, but uh, I see anecdotal evidence of, of my kids' friends saying, oh, yeah, my dad listens to Alex Jones. And, and I see that the very people that, that you despise or sometimes insult with terrible language, I see these people coming on board. And I think a typical moment is Rush Limbaugh used to mimic you and come towards you in such a way where you're saying the same thing. And if you if you alienate these people that are coming on board, he will co-opt this message and make it go off track. And I'm wondering why it seems reckless to me to, to, to sort of take that, that approach where you would, you know, even even the patriot movement itself, re referring to it as pathetic and this, that, and the other, sometimes I think you're so focused, so in the trenches, so frustrated by the horrible things that are going on that, 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 that maybe you need to... You're absolutely right. I am a piece of crap. You're right. I, I agree with you. Okay. That's just, that's just a request. I'm not demanding it, but I sure think it would help. Well, I mean, I mean, just hold on a second. We're all pieces of garbage, but we're also all of us wonderful. We can reach for the heavens. We can also fall into hell. Uh, so certainly I don't have all the answers, and I make a lot of mistakes, but I think if people feel like I'm insulting them when I say yuppies, I don't mean all yuppies. You can call me a yuppie. I'm an urban, you know, white professional or whatever. I'm talking about a certain type of yuppie who just doesn't care about anybody, even themselves, and just I just laugh about everything. I want to punch them in the nose. Uh, and when I talk about good cops, I talk about bad cops. I know police are waking up. Believe me, I know. But when I also talk I'm about cops, I'm talking about bad ones. You know, I mean, there are cops in Texas robbing people on the side of the highway. I mean, I don't enjoy that. Believe me, if I wanted to bash cops, I've got so much ammo, I could cram every second of every show with just new stuff they're doing. Because there's a there's millions of cops, and there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of bad ones. So I specifically want to hold you over for one minute as we start the third hour, and I want you to tell me examples of what I do. Because God knows I do it, man. You know why, though, we're successful at waking folks up? Because it's real. I don't care. 
when the New York Times or Wall Street Journal lies about me and attacks me. I don't care when people attack me on the Internet anymore. I just don't care. And uh, stay with me.